Macomb, Alabama, 1935, and our hero with a briefcase turns to leave a deserted courtroom. The wrongfully convicted defendant has been removed, and all the white townsfolk have left. Only the black community remains, segregated, upstairs on the balcony. The pain of the moment is etched deep on the attorney's face. Tom Robinson stands falsely accused of raping a white woman, a harmless man, a victim of lust and racial prejudice, where no white jury will accept the word of an African American over even the most disreputable white witness. He faces death by execution. Atticus Finch, the moral backbone of his small southern community, speaks eloquently of the juror's obligation to respect the law. In the name of God, do your duty. Return this man to his family, he pleads. For Atticus there is no color or race in the courtroom, only equality and social justice. F. Scott Fitzgerald once said that behind every novelist is a moralist, and nothing could be more true about the southern writer Harper Lee who on June the 11th, 1960, published her one and only novel, To Kill a Mockingbird, an inspirational parable frequently banned but never out of print. It still powerfully resonates today, over 50 years later. As our dejected hero takes his leave, the African-American community slowly rises, standing in silence, in profound respect for this honorable, compassionate, courageous voice of conscience. The Reverend Sykes turns to Atticus's daughter, Miss Jean Louise. Stand up, your father's passing.